Once you've opened this file, make sure you save this file in your own space, such as the Z drive, create a folder called physics and save it in there. Next, we're going to create a force column and the, the units are newtons. In physics, when we put units, we always put the slash meaning per, okay, and not brackets. The formula we're told to calculate the force is force is 0 0.0. 245 times the deflected angle, so we put equals 0 0.0245 in this cell times the deflected angle, which is here, okay, and then we drag that down, copy and paste it, so the formula is now calculated for all of them. Next, we're going to insert a, a scatter graph such that we have the distance on the x-axis and the force on the y-axis, so first of all, we must select all values for the x-axis, press control down at the same time as selecting all the values we're going to plot on the y-axis. Insert a graph and it's a scatter graph, xy scatter here. This is what we've got but now we want it on a new, we move it to the chart so it's on its own tab. Call it so chart 1. Okay, and here we have the chart. Next, we want to change the page layout so it's a standard form. Change the orientation so it's a portrait graph. Okay, then we're going to add a title. And we must add some axis labels as well. The way to do that is to insert a text box. I have a text box force in Newtons. I want this so. Uh, it's going to be vertically. I'll change that position there. Put it on the axis. Force in newtons. So I've got my label there. Need to do one for the x-axis now. So now I've got that done there. Next, we want to make it look a little bit more like a graph paper. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, edit the axis. We choose format axis. We want the minimum to be naught, but the maximum we only go up to 80. So we'll keep it at 80. We want the major axis to be 10, but the minor one to be probably a tenth of that. Okay. Same with the Y axis. Um, our data, you can see, only goes up to 5. which is the top of it, 5. Probably the minor units we want to go up in 0 0.5. <coughs> <coughs> and then a fraction of that. Okay. Um, then when you're on here, when you choose the uh, add minor grid lines, you'll notice these come on. And if you right click on them, uh, you can format the grid lines. I want them to be sort of solid, but it's slightly grey. Okay. I want the major grid lines to be slightly darker. Do the same for the x-axis. Now, if you zoom in, you should be able to see that a particular grid does look like the normal graph paper that we use. Next, what we want to do is do our best to draw a best fit curve through the points. Um, Excel will add trend lines, but this particular one is deliberately chosen so you can't. So what you need to do is insert a line. So using the insert tool, insert a line that will or curve that will best fit through those points. Once you've got a graph where 
the data, okay, and the line, the best fit curve seem to line up. Okay, you're ready, ready to go. Print it out. Possibly put your name in the top header so we can work out which is yours when it comes out of the printer. Okay. Once you've done that, I want you to do the same, but with experiment two, a different set of data, and see <coughs> how you, the graph compares.